Charlie and Kiwi's Evolutionary Adventure This is a story about a boy named Charlie who has to write a report about birds. His parents had brought him a stuffed toy kiwi from New Zealand, so he knew exactly which bird to choose. The kiwi! It's a cool bird! The other kids thought kiwi was weird. You have to admit, Charlie, a kiwi's kind of different. Is it even a bird? I mean, where's its wings? Charlie stayed up late that night, working on his report. Kiwi, I know you're different from other birds. Most birds fly, but kiwis can't. They have tiny wings. Kiwis come out at night, like owls. They have a great sense of smell and whiskers, which is kind of weird. But a kiwi really is a bird. I don't want the other kids to make fun of you, kiwi, just because you don't look like a regular bird. I need to show them you're a cool bird. Show them why a kiwi is like a kiwi. Mom says my great, 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 great grandpa Charles was a bird expert. Wish he was here. And I wish I wasn't so tired. Suddenly, Charlie found himself face to face with a rather odd gentleman who looked a bit familiar. I was expecting dinner, but you're not my dinner. Are you my great, 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 great grandpa, the bird expert? Hmm, well, you do have my nose. And you have a kiwi. Wonderful birds. So you do know about birds. I need to prove that a kiwi's a bird. Well, of course a kiwi's a bird. But kiwis don't fly. Some birds don't fly. Kiwis, penguins, ostriches. But why not? How did kiwis get to be so different from the other birds? Oh, to answer that, you'd have to go a long, long way back in time. Back to when this old fossil was a living, breathing bird. Back to Kiwi's ancestors, her great, 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 many times great grandparents. I have a time machine. Let's go. But it's time for my dinner. Okay, you said a long, long way back in time. No. Not that far back. But it was too late. The time machine was taking them way, way back. Long before Kiwis, more than 150 million years. To the age of the dinosaurs. Oh dear. I'm afraid we're a long, long way from dinner. That can't be Kiwi's ancestor. That's some kind of dinosaur. At least, I think it's a dinosaur. It has claws and teeth like a dinosaur. But are those feathers? Feathers. That should mean it's a bird. It runs on two legs like a bird. But it's got teeth instead of a beak. If it is a bird... It's a really odd bird. It's not a bird. It's a dinosaur. They run on two legs, like T-Rex. But why would a dinosaur have feathers? They don't fly. Well, feathers do keep birds warm. These guys need more feathers then. They look cold. 
Animals can't just grow feathers when they want to. They have to inherit them from their parents. Like these babies. With more feathers, they'll stay warmer. A little difference like that could help them survive. A little difference like that? I have this idea. If you could speed up time, you might see that lots of the warm, fuzzy, feathery ones survive and grow up. Whoa! Apparently, you can speed up time. And the warm, fuzzy, feathery ones have survived. Look! The warm, fuzzy, feathery ones have babies. And their babies have feathers too. Good thing, it's getting cold. The babies with fewer feathers aren't doing so well. There are fewer of them in each generation. And more fuzzy feathery ones. Now they're all feathery. But they're not all the same. Some of them have longer feathers on their arms. When they jump to catch prey, they kind of glide. And they catch dinner a little better. Dinner. So the ones with long feathers can catch more food to feed their babies. More of the long feathered babies survive. And over a long, long time and many, many generations, little changes in each generation can add up to big changes. Big changes, huh? Let's see what happens next. After millions of years, the descendants of those first feathered dinosaurs are very different. Wow! Now they can fly! So feathered dinosaurs changed over time. Not every dinosaur. There were little changes in each generation. The little changes that helped some dinosaurs survive, like long feathers, got passed down. And bit by bit, over time... Over a long, long, long time, millions of years, the little changes led to big changes. Now this dinosaur looks a lot like a bird. Maybe it is a bird. Maybe it's one of the first birds. Like my fossil. So the first birds were dinosaurs with feathers. And over time, those first birds evolved into thousands of kinds of birds. Pelicans, bluebirds, peacocks. With beautiful feathers, soaring through the air, swooping, flying. Oh. But Kiwi doesn't fly. No, but you must understand, Charlie. Every bird has what it needs for where and how it lives. It's adapted to its environment. We have a time machine. Let's go to New Zealand and find out how Kiwi got to be so different. And they took off for the time of the first Kiwis, 50 million years ago. I don't see any Kiwis. No. But New Zealand's an island, so... Watch out for eagles! On islands, hawks and eagles are the big predators, instead of wolves or lions. Kiwi can't fly. She'll get eaten. But Kiwi was safe on the ground, hidden in the grass. If it's dangerous in the air, maybe it's better not to fly. So maybe some birds don't really need wings. 
Look, Charlie, eagles sleep at night. So some birds might be safer if they come out at night. If they had whiskers, they could feel around in the dark, like a cat. And if they had a good sense of smell, they could sniff out tasty bugs. Charlie was starting to see how a kiwi might have gotten to be a kiwi. Kiwi, way back then, maybe your great, 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 many times great grandparents were like regular birds. But if some had little differences that helped them survive... Bit by bit, those little changes could add up. So, over time... Over a long, long time. Millions of years and many, many generations. Kiwis became an amazing, night-striding, bug-hunting bird. Look at you, Kiwi. You're not weird. You're just right for life in New Zealand. You're a cool, different kind of bird. But you are a bird. Penguins and ostriches came from flying birds too, right? Robins, eagles, peacocks, they all go back to earlier birds. Not just birds, all living things evolved from earlier, quite different types of things, over a long, long time. Wait till the kids hear this report. Let's go, I have to get writing. And so they zoomed home in the time machine, stopping briefly in 1880. Charlie, take my fossil with you. It's the evidence! Charlie and Kiwi were back, just in time. The next morning... So that's why Kiwis are like Kiwis. And why Kiwis... And Robins, and Penguins, and Beagles. And every bird is different, but all part of one big, amazing family. And if you could go way, way back in time, you'd see that all birds came from the same kind of ancestor. The dinosaurs. Whoa! Whoa. Back in 1880, great-great-great-great-grandpa had something new to think about. So if birds came from dinosaurs, I wonder if dinosaurs taste like chicken. Say, where's my dinner? The end.